Now, this next story is incredibly tricky and difficult to talk about because it's a lot of he said, she said type of stuff that no matter where you sit on it, we have to acknowledge that we don't know 100% of what happened. We have some allusions to it. But for the time being, we don't know what happened. And if you say you, we do, then you're not wanting to see the whole picture here and you're just taking one clear side. Um, what I'm talking about is the Ray Fisher Warner Brothers thing. It's still going on. Um, I think it was a week or two ago, Ray Fisher came out and said, um, something, 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 um... I will no longer be associated with any projects that has Walter Hamada still attached to it, who Walter Hamada uh, just re-upped his contract with Warner Brothers. He's the head of Warner Brothers. He's still staying there for a while. So he's Ray Fisher, who was Cyborg in Batman vs. Superman and Zack Snyder's Justice League. Um, some bad stuff happened on Justice League from some stories that we've heard. And some things may have happened to him. The details are a bit sketchy. I don't want to assume that I know what happened there. Um, if what happened is true, then screw everybody involved. Um, but we don't know that because we haven't been made privy to it. It's not public knowledge yet. It was under investigation and everything else. Um, but now it seems like his version of Cyborg will no longer be in the Flash movie. And this has sparked a whole bunch of he said, she said, with Ray Fisher and everything else, he's just like, they want to spin it that I never said this. But it's just like, you still have a tweet out there, Ray, that you said that you don't want to be in any Walter Hamada projects. So don't act surprised when they don't have you in a future project. It, it just came across kind of odd. Now, I'm not blaming Ray Fisher at all. Again, I don't know what happened on the Justice League set. If bad things happened, like he was racially profiled or abused or anything else, he has every right to speak up. But we don't know, and he is not openly coming out with a lot of the stuff that's coming out here. And it's just really, it's a difficult thing, because like, there's some times that I think, this person's in the right, or this person's in the right, and it's really difficult to talk about. Um... I have my place that I'll I'll stand on things as it currently, um, but it's a complicated matter. As for a Flash movie, if Ray Fisher is this easily able to be removed from the project, to me it means the Cyborg was never going to be a huge character to begin with. Um, I think the only reason he was in this movie is because in the CW crossover that Ezra Miller showed up in, he said something about Victor said this was possible before he disappeared, so like maybe... Uh, cyborg helps him travel across the dimensions and everything else it i didn't think he was going to be a major role this is more just just slinging mud at each other and it's just become a huge distraction for all parties involved and it's there's just a lot to break down with this and no one looks good ray fisher doesn't look good warner brothers doesn't look good coming out of this it's there's just a lot out of this, but uh, Michael, go for it. Yeah, was this something that I mean, seemingly came out of nowhere? Because we we've heard the the issues with the Flash, but I've never heard anything about Cyborg having a, 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 any sort of issues at all. Like this, this came out of nowhere. Like this story today. I, I, were you following anything? Did you hear anything through back channels at all about this? So, um, the Flash, the Justice League thing has been going on for a while. That apparently, um. According to Ray Fisher, there are some bad things that happened on the set of Justice League. Now, he hasn't specified what those things oh, okay. were. Um, there's been mixed reports of um, some lighter things, like uh, Jeff Johns and Joss Whedon were bashing Zack Snyder and his vision of what he wanted to do with Justice League, and that's why they changed it to things more severe, like in post-production they were lightening Ray Fisher's skin tone so he wouldn't be as dark. Like, if that's the case, screw everybody involved. That's horrible. Yeah, but that's, again, that's we terrible. don't know. They uh, Warner Brothers went to an outside party for an investigation that involved 80 people. And um, they've said that they've dealt with everybody. My issue that it 
is is just like Warner Brothers seems like they're ready to move on with it, and Ray Fisher keeps going. I want justice. I want justice, which is fine if we knew what he wanted justice for. But also, to what extent? Almost everyone involved with Justice League is gone. Um, at the time, which is another thing that doesn't quite make sense to me, but maybe I'm just missing some big details here. Um, the main target of his issues is Ray Fisher coming after Walter Hamada. Well, Walter Hamada took over for Warner Brothers in January 2018. Justice League came out in November 2017 under Kevin Sujihara. So, to what extent, like, if you want justice for something that you feel you were wronged about, sure. But the parties that you're mad at seemingly aren't there anymore. Like, yeah. Joss Whedon mysteriously left the Batgirl project after Justice League finished. And I've said my part about that, that I never believed that there was a Batgirl movie. Uh, Kevin Sujahara is no longer with the company. John Berg is no longer with the company. The only one left is Jeff Johns. And we still have never gotten clear confirmation as to what happened if there is any action that needs to be taken against Ray Fisher or Jeff Johns. It's... It's just ugly. Like, Warner Brothers seems very insistent on moving on, so maybe they're covering up something. It There's just a lot of we don't know, but now it's bleeding into other projects, so we need to talk about it. I've said my stuff about Flash before, of Cyborg's not the one that needs to leave. It's the woman chokeholding yeah. Ezra Miller that needs to leave. That's still a huge black eye that they need to address, at least acknowledge, but you know, they also have Johnny Depp abusing Amber Heard still on staff for Aquaman 2. So clearly they don't have issues hiring crappy yeah. people. It, it, this this screams of mismanagement and I guess just hearing what you have to say, it is it is the exact opposite of what Marvel has had. It, now I'm not saying Disney, I will say Marvel. Uh, and it, it's a, more of a testament of how well Kevin Feige has handled his situation and the success I mean, if you can't handle failure well, you're not going to handle success well. And DC's only tasted a little bit of it. And it just seems like every now and then they, they throw something together that's great and they get a little arrogant and then something else happens. And it just seems like from the PR perspective, it's just an up and down roller coaster with DC. And it, it does not breed consumer confidence, even if they're making great films. Uh, that aside, it doesn't help behind the scenes. Uh, this this is something that's you know ongoing story. I'd be curious to see where this develops in the, in the next coming months uh, because this could, this caught me completely off guard to be honest with you. Yeah, there's just a lot of facets to this, and again, there's a lot of variables. Maybe some horrible things did happen in Justice League, but on the, also on the flip side, Ray Fisher hasn't been in a lot of movies, so maybe he th kind of. I don't want to say overreacting because we weren't there, uh, but maybe he took something personal that wasn't a personal attack because he just isn't used to the film bubble as much as actors who have been in the sphere more. But again, he's the only black actor in the core Justice League cast, so maybe he experienced something different because the rest of his cast haven't really spoken a whole lot. It's really been his crusade against Warner Brothers, but then again... Mm -hmm. As a black male, he may have had a different experience than, say, the most white guy in the cast with Henry Cavill. He might have had a di completely different experience. We don't know. But now it's just gotten so public and ugly that it's bleeding into future projects. And, yeah, it's... Can we just move past this DC? We had a good groove, and then we're still digging up stuff from a few years ago. Like once right. we officially move past this ugly turmoil, I feel like we can get a fresh start on stuff. But it's easier said than done.